Okay. Um, this is a design project for Victoria Designs, and it is called the Explorer's Notebook Kit. And I made it, um, one of the things that I used to make this, I went by her folio template because I really wanted to do something like this. So this is the book, and I've used a magnet to close it. The front of it, I have used um, the folio template also, and I've used things from the shop. These are words that came with the kit. I always leave the words because I want whoever gets it to be able to put them wherever they want to. Um, there's one pocket here. It looks like two, but it's not. It's just one. And this folds out also with another pocket on the back. And there, I'm just gonna flip through it. There's a lot of ephemera in here. And uh, the kit comes with so much. The kit, honestly, this journal makes itself. You can um, just do whatever. It just makes itself. So I'm just gonna show you all the beautiful pages and uh, the tags that come with it. And oh, I made a belly band out of this. And tickets and cards. This is an envelope with a card in it from the kit. More little cards. And the pages are absolutely beautiful. And the, it also comes with some fussy cut, some flowers to fussy cut. And there's some tags. And I, these are stamps that I made into a belly band. And here I just tucked some of the flowers in there behind this, this lovely lady. This is, uh, I believe these might be freebies from her that I got a long time ago. And I just also added some of my own um, tags in here. There's plenty of room for writing. Here is an empty, an empty pocket. I think I'm just gonna stick a flower in. <laughs> Um, there is more tags, tags, and flowers. It's another one of these little things. I made these. That was kind of cute. More tags, and in the back, there is the other half that was in the folio, and it is cut, folds out like this. And these are file folders that came in the kit, and I just put them. In pockets so that's this and if you want to see how I made this lovely beauty keep watching
Okay, so the first thing I did with the page is I cut all the white part off, uh, the border off. Well, I wanted these to be small, so I printed them at 90% because I wanted them to be small. Uh, my printer doesn't do double-sided unless you put them in first and then turn them over and feed them back through, and that's what I did. And as far as you can see, as you can see, the kit, it's perfect. It, it does it right every time. As long as you print them at the same at the same scale. So so most of the time you would print it at 100%, but I wanted it smaller. So I printed it at 90%. Then what I did is I took my corner rounder and this very small one and I rounded the corners just a little bit. And then I took my ink and I just ran along the edges. And of course you decide which ones you want at the front and which ones you want at the back. And I did, and so I'm gonna set these aside. Then I went and I found me an old book. <laughs> and the way you do it is you take, and there's lots of stuff on the, the internet about this. You take your, your knife and you cut along the edge to get this out to text block. Um, you can either save it or toss it. It doesn't really matter. I want don't want the spine so i'm going to take my ruler find it here and i just want this because i didn't um have enough for book board whatever i think it might be easier to do this way nope i'm gonna do it this way i'm gonna do it right on that edge right there okay go ahead i'm gonna put it on a cutting mat because i don't want to mess up Okay, so then I have two pieces of this. And what I wanted to do, if I can find it, is I got the template. You know, the template is for the folio template. This is pretty close. This is how you make the, fo the folio with your own paper. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this a folio book. So I printed out, and I think this will be fine. I might, I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to use these templates and these book boards, and I'm gonna make a folio. So I have one piece of this left. This is um, book board, we are memory keepers. I don't have, the thing I got at the Hobby Lobby, basically it is um, from, it's for the cinch. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna use this just, I'm not gonna use the spine because I'm gonna do a different spine. So I'm just gonna cut this out and use it as a And I, I put this on cardstock so that I could use it over and over again. So I'm just gonna go ahead because I want this to be like that. And this is probably gonna be difficult to cut. I'm gonna have to use my Jacto knife, of course. Now I just need to know how big I want to make this spine. So I'm thinking at least one and a half inches on one, one should be one and a half inches and I'm gonna do one at one and three quarters. And then one and a half. 
Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I, ch I decided. One and three quarters and one and a half. Okay, turn it this way. I'm gonna draw my lines. Okay, so now I have this, and this will be this one, and then I will have this here, like this. So, I'm going to get my trusty tape, and this is the way I always do it. I get a piece of, I just have these pieces of dowel that I got it, I think it was at Hobby Lobby. And I just, of course it's gonna do that. Oh, baby, baby. I'll line it up the best we can. This is the way I do it and it works for me. So this is the way I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna go ahead, put this here like that. And you have my, I'm going to make sure this is varnished down really good. This is just plain old packing tape. I'll do it again here on this one. Okay. And again. Then again here like this. Whoops. Let's see. Make sure it's good and tight. And then this one right here. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> so, uh, let's see, like this here. Nice and tight. Here. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my. I wish I knew where my other. I'm gonna just use this one. It's like I'm always losing stuff. I noticed that. You're like Tina, why are you always like misplacing things? I think honestly, I think the cats come in here and just like have a nice little little party with my things. They're like, woohoo, mom's gone. Let's go in and just drag stuff all over the place. I'm gonna turn it over. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Only this time, you wanna do it a, a little bit differently. What I like to do is put this on like one side like this, just gently, like that. And then I take my bone folder and they squish it in there so that it's sticking to that tape. And you won't see any of this, but I like to have this so those are stuck together now. Oh, nice and stuck together. Okay, and then doesn't matter if it goes over, it just matters if it goes under, if you know what I mean. Same thing here. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to take my scissors. And that's when I get off this tape. Like that. I love the little folio so much that I wanted to make this like a folio. So, um, the way my, my mind is working, which it may or may not be good, is it will go like this. So, we will have it here, and it will go like this. Okay, now the thing about using tape, and this will be the outside here, is when you use tape, I just get this at the Dollar Tree. This is a little sanding block. You want to rough that tape up because it's shiny. And honestly, if you don't rough the tape up, you're, it won't, you won't, I'm probably shaking the table. I'm really sorry, but it has to be done. You have to rough up this tape so it's not shiny. Anytime you have anything like this that is that you want to adhere, any kind of glossy finish on a junk journal, any kind of book that you're making, you want to make sure that all of these are all of these areas are buffed up. Um, unless you like want to put some primer on it or something, but uh, I usually just go over this with a with this little sanding block. Uh, like I said, I got it at the Dollar Tree. You can probably get um, other ones. They make them. Like if you go to a home improvement store, they have them there too. So, But I just want to make sure that it is nice and buffed up. Okay. I like to try to take that little edge and go down inside the inside the, um, the, the little, what do you call it, hinge, and I just do this, okay, okay, so what I did was I printed out, the papers that I showed you at the beginning were papers that were the pages, and these, there also has some papers, but I, but I wanted to try and make sure that they were non-directional, so what I'm gonna do, I wanna make sure, and then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put them together like this. Yeah, like this. I want them nice and together. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. Why do we use Fabri-Tac? We use Fabri-Tac because it doesn't wrinkle our paper. I actually should have marked it. And I want this to be over the spine, so. There. And then I'm gonna put something over that so that it won't, um, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one. I'll put something over that so you won't see it. You won't see it. So I'll know that I can put this here. I could actually not have to worry about, but. So, and we will. We will do our thing, our lovely thing. Okay, it's over. Now, I think I'm going to do this part first. I'm, gonna use, I'm using Fabri-Tac. I've seen all different people use all different kinds of glue. And I, I don't know. I, 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 if you guys have a favorite glue, 
leave me a note in the comments because I don't know. I have the biggest important thing when you're using this kind of glue is to turn it over to a mess. Yeah. Is to turn it over right away and take something, even if it's um you can use a credit card, you can use one of those um a cricket thing, you know, whatever. You just want to turn it over and spread that glue out. If you spread it out, you won't have little bumps. You know how sometimes you get little bumps. So now I can do this and I can say, okay, I'm going to put some here. I'm going to go here. You can use PVA. I just don't happen to have any on me. <laughs> My PVA bit the dust, but typically um, I will use a PVA glue to, um, to adhere my, my paper or my fabric. Use PVA glue. You just want to make sure you're pressing it pretty hard, just not to tear the paper obviously, but pretty hard. You turn it around. I'm going to do this now. There is And the rest is history. I'll cut some of this off. We'll see what I was going to do. This here. I'm going to do this here. I don't know how to frame. Mm -hmm. And then I want my corners. I want my miter tool because I like it. Because I have problems with myself. I just never know how close to get with these corners. So this always... And again, this is a corner miter tool, like this. You could see that there. And I like it because it helps me. So this may look like a hot mess. And it very well may be. <laughs> so I think, um, I'm gonna make sure.
the cover already. I like it already. And of course, what I'm going to do with it is right here. Make sure all this is stuck down. And then we want to go around the edges. Of course, this isn't going to be the end of the end. I'm probably going to put some fabric or something. I really like this. Yeah, you can add a little something to it. And here on the side. Not everybody likes to ink, but my people know that I like to ink. My subscribers, my subbies know that I'm an inky, I'm an inker. My name is Tina and I'm an inkaholic. And I'm proud of it. All right. This is here. This is here. Okay. So now we have the cover. Or at least the beginnings of the cover. Okay, I'm back. And what I decided to do with this is add a magnet. Because I just think it's cool. So next, um, the next thing we need to do is work on, and I use these magnets. I think I got them off of Amazon. They're really strong. Um, anyway, I cut a piece of, two pieces actually of craft paper. It's pretty thick. And these are right around one and one, two, three eighths, because I want them to fit very nicely in here without having any weird bulky bulk. Bulky bulk. Yeah, that's a word. So the first thing I'm going to do um, with one of these, because I don't need both of them, is I am going to go ahead and make a template out of them so that I can sew in signatures. And I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is line this up right here and on my grid here. And just kind of eyeball it. That's the middle. That's the middle. Let's go one and a half, like right there in the halfway mark. There. And half of that. Half of that. And then I drop. Oh, it's sticking to my neck. It's sticking to my. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to draw my lines. Draw my lines. And I'm gonna decide how wide this is. This is seven and three quarters. So half of seven is three and a half and half of three quarters. <laughs> half of three quarters. Why do you do this to me? Three and a half and then three quarters would be a quarter and a half. So three and a half, yeah. A quarter and a half so this is about the middle and then I like to go up when I'm doing a three hole pamphlet stitch like a an inch from the bottom and an inch from the top and that's just to make sure because my signatures are going to be smaller see and I want to make sure that I got them in there so then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna make this and here we am in frame and here and I'm just kind of my body and it doesn't really matter okay so I have these like this and then I'm gonna go ahead I'm not gonna worry about poking them right yet but I'm gonna glue these two pieces together and the only reason I'm doing this because I want it to be sturdier more sturdier you know um, because, 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 and let's go ahead and mark, mark, mark this with a T. The glue seems to be working better though, y'all. That's, um, that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So, 
do that. I'm just going to glue these two together. Okay. This is what I'm doing. This is the way it works. And then I'm going to take a piece of fabric. This fabric is like, it's gotten. And I'm going to do a little bit on each side about, let me see, about, here, yeah, what am I doing? Um, about a, a little bit, maybe a ruler's on either side like this and then I'm going to cut it and rip it and then I have this. I'm probably going to go ahead and cut. No, I think I'll leave it. Why not? I don't need all, I need this to be this, um, don't need this to be like this. So, and cut this off. Okay, so then I have this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it on here. Now the thing of it is, is that when you're using, um, you wanna make sure that you smush, you kind of spread it around. If that makes sense, you'll know what I mean when you see what I'm talking about. I put a lot of glue on here, lots and lots. And then I'm gonna take this and spread it out. And stick it right in the middle. And take this. Nice to spread all that glue out. So, and I don't care if it's a little grungy. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to make it a little. I'll take um, take some of this gather twigs and make it a little grungy. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. There. Make sure it's nice and if you want it to be just, you know, grungy. I like that, okay. So now we take our, my cats seem to be very fascinated with this piece of foam. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this in, I'm gonna, from the other side, make sure I have pretty decent holes. It's how you take out your frustrations. <laughs> okay, so now I have holes on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sew these in um, very quickly, let's sew these in. I kind of dig this color here. So, yeah, I'm gonna use that. One, two, and a half. And then what I like to do, just because I'm anal like that, is to take this. This is a piece, this is beeswax. I just like to run it through a couple times with this. I got this on Amazon. I think it might be in my Amazon store, I'm not sure. Um, but that's what I did. So I'm going to do one, and then I'm going to do the other two off camera. You guys have seen me do um, so many times. 
Uh, and so I'm going to do the first one. Oh, first of all, I need to, Tina, I need to make, make a thing for, I need to make a thing for the, for the pages. And my pages are, I think I had them. I don't even need to really measure. I'm just going to put here. Okay. And I'm going to fold this in half. is the top. I want this to be pretty close. So here, here, and here. There, so now I have that for my, because you have to have that. And then I'll take that and put it in the middle of my signatures. And this will be the top, so I know that every single time I line that up right there. And then I will go ahead and punch through those holes. And I like to do it this way. I, got, I Like I tell you guys, I like to do it this way, so that way you're getting it right in that fold. If you do it... Um, a lot of times if you try to punch it this way, you're not gonna get it right in that fold. All right, so I'm gonna take this. That's the top, this is the top. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the three hole pamphlet stitch, which is in, going through the middle, and through the middle, but I'm going on this side. Through the middle. Doesn't matter, top or bottom, doesn't matter which way you go in. You can do, whoops, except you don't want to do that. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> in through the middle, leave a tail, don't let it come through. Sometimes people will like hook something on the end so that it won't do that. Usually I don't have a problem with it, so okay, then here. There. All the way up through the center. And down there. And go back up through the middle. Being very careful not to split the threads if you can't help it. All right, like that. <laughs> and one of these is gonna go on this side and one of them is gonna go on the other side. So I'm gonna pull it, whoops, not too tight. <laughs> pull it, not too tight. And then you go right over left, left over right. Okay, and then cut it off. Okay, I'm gonna do the other two off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So then now we need to take this and we're going to glue it to here. Just so, like so. One of the things I do wanna do is I wanna make this like on this side. I don't want these to be, I want these to be angled a bit.
like this. There. So I'm going to take, I'm going to use my fabric tech. So, what if I stone? I, I, I realize that if you lay it down, um, it won't, it will be easier to, it won't, um, it'll be easier to get it out the next time. So I want to make sure this is like this. Make sure all of that's stuck down real good. Then we'll take and we'll put some fabric tag in that. Make sure it's in there. It's stuck real good. And on the other side, put it in this crease. Make sure it's stuck real good. Then I'm going to take and I'm going to put glue here on here. And put that down like that. Make sure all of that's down. And then the other side, go here and turn it around. Go ahead and glue both of these sides down. And make sure that glue is spread out good. And then glue that down like that. So then we have our signatures in there. So what I have done is I've made some of these, uh, I've used some other papers and I'm going to put this in here. Now, um, the last thing I want to do before is I'm going to put I'm going to put things on the front. I wanted to put this guy on the front, and I have some coffee stains on here. I just thought maybe he's the explorer. It's explore kit, maybe. He's the explorer. Kind of looks like the explorer. And then I want to take this, which is another piece of the same page, and I'm going to put some glue on it. And very carefully. I want to wiggle this. So, oh no. So that it is this, so it lines up. Fabri-Tac does give you a little wiggle room. So that also covers up that magnet. So like that. So now it's like that. So cool like that and it's pretty close pretty close pretty close so now we have this we have our journal pages in here and it's got a lot of room in it let me do this here we'll go ahead and um 
make this a little grungy. And then all that's left now to do is to add your ephemera. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so what you see before you here is all of the, if you can see it all, it's kind of scattered everywhere and it's also in here, are the pieces of the kit that are considered ephemera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I don't have any vested interest because I'm probably not going to keep this, um, but I'm just gonna speed it up and just throw some of this stuff in there. I think this needs, I think I need another, maybe Velcro or something. I don't know, it's gonna be okay. Also what I did was Victoria Designs has uh, templates for um, for these, the folios. I use the template to make um, pick pieces on either side. And I didn't show you how to do this because she has tutorials on all of this. So I just put this one on the front and one in the back. So now I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'll show you the one in the back real quick. This is, I just used papers from the kit to do this. And these are pockets, so I really, I just, I just, I had fun doing it. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I have three signatures, and what I've done is I've put my pockets in three different piles. So I'm just going to look at the signatures. I'm going to start with the first one, and I'm just going to start gluing.
So I will continue to do this. I don't think you need to see where I put everything. But honestly, these kits build themselves. They are very easy to do. So get you one and have some fun. <laughs> Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.